welcome. I'm going to take you through the country of Tuvalu and it's 2015 Venice Biennale Pavilion. So first we're going to look at the country of Tuvalu. It is in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. It is actually quite remote. It is comprised of several very small islands and atolls. It gained independence from the UK in 1978, and their current prime minister is Anili Sopoaga. The main islands are Vaitupu and Funafuti. If you click on the Tuvalu polygon, you'll see some pictures of the people. This is an art project that they do. And then you've got an essay and a link to their Wikipedia page if you're interested in more. They are facing a severe climate change problem as their islands are becoming absorbed into the Pacific Ocean. To show you how severe this problem is, we'll zoom into by Tupu, and you can see the soil erosion that's happened in the roads right here that used to be part of the town. And this is causing severe soil salination, which is devastating their only main export, which is coconut kernels that they dry. In Funafuti, we have the only airstrip, and the only plants that come in contain about 30 passengers and fly in from Fiji, so the area is quite remote. This is important because their pavilion at the 2015 Venice Biennale is a direct commentary on their crisis. So their pavilion was located in the Arsenale. When you click on the link here, pulls up their pavilion page. Now they had all of their materials online. There was zero paper consumption at all. So the name of the exhibit is Crossing the Tide. And as you can see, the pavilion was flooded and there were walkways that came across where the theory was one could get their feet wet and feel the sinking that Tuvalu is feeling. It's also a commentary on how Tuvalu and Venice are alike. Their entire catalog is here if you so choose to look into depth. Now the artist that did this pavilion was Vincent J.F. Wang. There's an image from it. There's some links here to show you a little bit further also a Google Cultural Institute site where you can actually do a complete 360 walkthrough of the pavilion. Vincent J.F. Wang is actually a Taiwanese artist. He was moved by Tuvalu's plight at a 2009 climate conference and he is an ecological or green artist. He does works throughout the world. Here's one of his exhibits in London called Suicide Penguins. And this is a direct commentary on global warming. This hung off the Millennial Bridge in London. Here's a link if you want to know more about his work. Again, he has been featured in museums as well. Here's his MOCA exhibit in Taipei, Museum of Contemporary Art. Here's his Merrill Lynch bull being strung up on an oil rig. And this is his commentary on the world's economic and greed-driven culture. The inside of the MOCA exhibit was actually his 2013 Venice Biennale Pavilion for Tuvalu's exhibit. So there was 
a modern Atlantis project that he did, as well as this dried mermaid project, and that he actually went to Tuvalu and created this sculpture. And on the third day, he set that ablaze. So this was a video showing what he had done there. Again, there's more information further down if you click here. It takes you to his website. 